um, ever since I have this, um, yeah, I'm very um, unsure. I can't bring uh, together like the, um, the beauty of um, the enlightenment and the horror of what is happening in the world. And, like this is a, a big difficulty for me right now. You say like, the horror, you mean like the war and things like this that's happening in the world? Things that happening to me too and to other people. But I know right. at the same time, they are not only happening to me, but probably they're happening to everybody. So yes, there is, there is um, like help you can get on the human level. Like you can yeah. work with someone, you you know there's there's therapies that you can do there's emotional release that you can do there's all types of things that you can do to balance mm -hmm. your body and i'm not opposed to that and i'm not not recommending mm -hmm. that it's just that that's not what non-duality is so so prior to me going into my non-duality stuff mm -hmm. i just want to say you know if you mm -hmm. are really struggling on the human level there's so many great teachers out there that work with the body mind that can help it become more balanced Mm -hmm. and that can help it feel more integrated because sometimes uh, not being able to cope with the horrors that we see in life is from childhood trauma it's from like past events it's from um like m m uh, idea you know ideas that have been formed that are incorrect you know there's all different types of things or the body being out of balance mm -hmm. so there's that that you can do but that's not what i teach i can teach that and i have taught in the past like chakras and trauma stuff but but non-duality isn't that. From non-duality perspective, mm -hmm. there are no horrors happening in the world. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is no world out there. There is like, no world. Yeah. yeah so from, from this from non-duality perspective, like where are the horrors? Like right now, where are the horrors? Right. That's, now, and that's yeah. you can you can answer that if you can. <laughs> Where is yes, the nowhere to be found. Yeah. Yeah. Nowhere. <laughs> nowhere. Yeah. Like it's it's that there is just this moment and everything else mm. is a projection. Everything is a projection. So True. everything is So I am kind of projecting that, right? In this moment. In but that, but the thing moment. is is if you take that on a, on a psychological level, that might not be mm. the best thing for the body mind. So the body mind is an instrument that is programmed. And if your programming mm. is having difficulty you can go and you can reprogram that so it might not be mm. the wisest thing to reprogram it with this non-duality but what i'm trying to point to is something deeper than that 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 this moment doesn't have any issue your mind might be having issues so your mind might be imagining things that are uncomfortable but does this space in your room so i can see you're sitting in a room does this <laughs> space have any issue with what's happening right now does it have any horrors this space no so the looking which is all things and no things has no horror but the body maybe is projecting horror the body is feeling horror the mind is thinking of horror but this moment yeah. doesn't have any horror to it and that's who you are that's what's looking now is that immense freedom so <laughs> that character yeah. which which might experience horror isn't what's actually looking that is an experience appearing in the looking. Mm -hmm. The looking is free. Your essence is free. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so unbelievable. Yeah, it's like, so unbelievable. Uh, it's really unbelievable. Like, like when. Uh, so I feel like, 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 kind of in in uh, the heart, like there is a fall, like, like there is a falling into it, like, um, like boom, yeah, and um, it's just there. But and then at the same time, yeah, like, I, like I'm in between these uh, things, like depression and yeah. um, all those. Um, yeah, like bringing life together also, and uh, so many difficulties, and this this um, openness, <laughs> yeah, 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 and this exactly. awareness towards uh, everything and towards people also, like to to consider them as um, 
yeah, I, I, sometimes I feel I'm, I'm really not there anymore, but um, everything is, is actually me. And, and, and yeah, like um, other people, for example, I take them as uh, they are me. And ever yeah. since, but yeah but, but not but yeah like you as the looking you as consciousness yes, the, uh, yeah. like on the personality level there is like different personalities but on the consciousness yeah. level from the perspective of looking it is you on the, and everything is you on the personality level you could say that you only experience people through your thoughts so whatever you see in the other person is through your thoughts you're never really seeing another person you're seeing on the human level your projections mm -hmm. and your ideas of the other person but then mm -hmm. from the absolute level everything is you it's kind of really cool so even on <laughs> yeah. the human level the reflection is you, uh, you don't see outside of your own brain but on the absolute level you also can't see out well you can't be anything or well, anything that's appearing is that is the absolute so you can't escape yourself so when you look at me now I am that consciousness. When you hear yeah. me now, it's the consciousness. And then on the human level, whatever you project onto me, so if you do or don't like me, or you have this judgment or that judgment, that's all inside your brain. But that's a different yeah. matter from the consciousness stuff, but it's, it's nice different. similar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of overwhelming like um my the view is changing like mm -hmm. suddenly i feel like there's clouds coming all out of people's mouths and um like things there's so many more things to perceive as um mm -hmm. usual yeah usual usually you see like oh yeah like eating and yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't know <laughs> like normal life but um it's not yeah. as simple as that. It's, 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 there is just so many things you can see and more it opens up, the more you, you see. So I see like, um, like also um, visionary images, like, like um, the ghost of a people behind them. Like uh, mm -hmm. people are walking and there's a shadow, like, like they, they the light yeah. body that follows them. They're moving too fast for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can have all types of different sensitivities and that's really, yeah beautiful on the human level like these bodies are so unique as to what they do mm. so you might be an empath and very intuitive and being able to see beyond the the more material world but mm -hmm. that's that's again in the psychological that's again in the dualistic world that's beautiful but it's in the dualistic yeah. world it's not non-duality non-duality yeah, yeah. is what is it that's looking at that and that is your freedom everything else comes and goes your freedom is the full stop which is what you are this expansiveness that's mm -hmm. no thing and everything the rest is stories beautiful mm. stories horrible stories good stories bad stories psychic stories non-psychic stories ghosts different dimensions whatever story it is that's appearing and that's beautiful but that's that's not what we're pointing to now what we're pointing to now is mm. what's watching which is this expansiveness this freedom and that that like everything else is just it's going to be pain or pleasure on the human level mm -hmm. okay yeah. this this the freedom is the full stop which is not non-duality so you can think about your psychic abilities so therefore it's not the source <laughs> yeah. it's something which is being seen in the dream it's an experience appearing in the dream okay yeah 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 and you can go and you can meet other people and you can have help and guidance on that i'm not saying do or don't do that like it's mm -hmm. beautiful to explore the character and to explore this dream but the freedom is always in the stillness in this moment like what is experiencing now who is what is listening to me isn't the yeah. character what is listening to me is the no thing and the everything is the consciousness which is <laughs> here yeah yeah and it's like so intense it's um like when there is this um this uh <laughs> this expansiveness like uh, the, the spirit i call it the spirit but it goes out of the body and just sees the whole yeah. thing as something to 
I don't know. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, yeah, it's massive. <laughs> and that's it's why the biggest thing it's in the feel room. Like, I feel like it's, it's like a, I'm in a big nothing, like yeah. a big black nothing. Yeah, and yeah, sometimes exactly. it's totally um, like it's uh, so hard to not having something to hold on to. But then that's back into the human world. So that's back into the human world. world. Yeah, and true. that you can do things to improve that for the human. Yeah. So the person that feels like there's nothing to hold on to, that's in the human dynamic, that's in the wiring of the brain. Mm -hmm. So that can be looked at in the human world and that can be dealt with in the human world. Like, so you mm. can look at what's happening there and what projections are going on there. Normally in the human world, whatever we're experiencing is what's come before. So it's like what we've been conditioned in childhood. So if you feel like there's nothing to hold on to, then that might be something that you experienced in childhood. So when you have that expansiveness, then that karma, that childhood karma comes up and it feels like it's yeah. got nothing to hold on to. So there might be like abandonment, like you could imagine all different types of things or oh, yeah, a yeah. sense of like not being in the right place. And that mm -hmm. then the mind gets confused in and thinks that that's got something to do with non-duality, but that's again in the mm. human world. So that can be dealt with in um different therapies yeah. in understanding your karma and understanding chakras and understanding the body like in all in understanding your past and that's something mm -hmm. that isn't the non-dual side what is it that's looking at that but we're always getting confused you know we're always thinking the person is awakening because it has effects awakening but we're always mm -hmm. looking to the person so it's like the person um is having this experience and it has something to do with non-duality but anything that is experienced is in the dream so the person feeling like it's overwhelming it's in the dream you're back in the human world so what is it to, oh, yeah. to, to who you are to expansiveness it can't feel overwhelmed or underwhelmed it's just here it's love it's got no off opposites yeah. it's just pfft. so then the person that that that's experience and then the person interprets that and then gets caught up in its story oh uh, yeah mm -hmm. yeah 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 it's, <laughs> yeah it's the interpretation yeah <laughs> oh, nice yeah, yeah good well, well, it's well, a good to you. talk to you and like, yeah uh, good thank to you see you and question yeah anytime it makes me feel so relaxed with all this many things going on yeah nice yeah yeah lots thank of love you. to you thank you lots yeah nice to you <laughs> you can turn your video off now and mute yourself yeah mm -hmm.